What's up guys, welcome to your Never Miss a Monday. Can you believe this? Our last programming of 2021. This module is gonna be for six weeks. If you're gonna be choosing strength, obviously you're gonna be rocking with the strength for the whole six weeks. I really recommend that you keep up with the amount of weight that you utilize, keep it in your phone or in a journal. And for those that are doing hit, you don't even have to stress about it. All you have to do is show up and get the work done. With this first segment, we're gonna start with the hit version and then our strength version. For our vets, you know how to get down. You choose what you want, whatever day you choose. But for those that are new to me, we want to welcome you first and foremost. But our hit volume is more of a, a lot of reps, lightweight, strength, heavier weight, adding weight, so on, so on when it comes to programming. But let's talk about our hit volume first, okay? With our hit, you will be using a barbell and you'll be coming from a rack position. For the sake of putting everything up right now, just act like this was in a rack, all right? We're gonna be going front rack position. So once I take it off the bar, I'm laying it on my shoulders. And honestly, the front squat is probably my favorite squat, especially with the barbell. Make sure your feet are right under your hips, toes out slightly. Take that big deep breath, tight stomach, ass to grass, powering off those heels. And your goal is not to go as fast as you can, but you want to be able to control that weight with great depth until you get to 10 reps. Once you finish, you immediately go into 10 stationary squat jumps. Form is still the same, just with no weight. You're powering up, landing nice and soft, and powering up until you get to 10. So it's a superset. You're going to knock that 10 and 10 out every two minutes of, of the uh, EMOM until we get to our 16 minute mark. So if you're going to be rocking our hit, that's how you get down now. Some of our coaches may be walking around challenging a couple of you, because instead of just a regular stationary squat jump, it may be a squat jump with a knee tuck, and they'll show you how that's done. For our strength volume, very similar movement. The only difference is, is that when you take it from the rack, you're gonna be starting this week off around 40 to 50% of your max effort. So your coach will remind you over and over. Again, you're gonna be taking it off your rack. Once you get there, same stance. Big chest, tight stomach, ass to grass, hips, right? I don't know why I said hips, but heels, that's what I'm going to say. But you'll be doing a total of nine. Notice there's no pause at the bottom, but it's complete control. So on the very first round, you'll be doing nine reps. Same thing for the second round, same thing for the third round. When we get to round four, five, and six, instead of nine, we're going to go down to eight reps. Every week of this program, we're going to decrease, we're going to increase where we start at. But every single round, if possible, I want you to add a little weight. And if you don't know your one rep max, don't worry about it during your warm up period. Get a good feel where you think you can do nine challenging reps and we'll start from there. But if you have to break your reps up at nine and it's your very first time touching the barbell, it's probably too heavy. Go a little bit lighter, but ask your coach for any recommendation. That's gonna be our strength segment. Once you finish the strict se strength segment, tongue tied today, all you're gonna need is a bumper plate. Uh, I recommend like a 25, 35, 45, preferably the 45 because that's going to be your bigger bumper plate. But every movement is going to be for 30 seconds. So when your 3, 2, 1 starts off, the very first movement we're going to hit will be our wall sits. Using, uh, I'm going to use a pole, but you can use the wall obviously at the gym. But 90 degree in the front, 90 degree in the back. We will hold this for 30 seconds and this is a running clock. So as soon as that three, two, one finishes, we're gonna immediately go up into our squat jumps. Now on our squat jumps, we will be using a bumper plate that I mentioned earlier, but you're only squatting down when you're on the ground. So land into that squat position, quickly come up tall, land into that squat position, making sure that chest is up every single time, heels still, you realize all the power. 30 seconds, nonstop, we're getting after it. Once you finish, um, I want you to find either a pole at the gym off the rig, even if you get a line, get on the wall, and you kind of see a little mark on the wall or put a piece of tape, we're gonna do half burpees with a high jump. So remember our half burpees, we're not actually allowing our chest, stomach, and thighs to hit the ground. So it's a half burpee to keep those quadriceps engaged. Once we're here, butt is still down and we jump up to touch that pole or whatever your, your mark is gonna be. I recommend as you lift your arms up, it's at least a foot, right? Yeah, we got some hops, at least a foot above your hand. But, Half burpees to a high jump for 30 seconds. Then the next and fourth and final one is gonna be most of you guys' favor, the rest. So it's a running clock. We will do that continuously for five rounds. Hey, that's gonna be your Never Miss a Monday. A, more of a lengthy video, but I wanted to make sure we have a solid foundation of everything that we're doing. But remember, every single week, we're gonna be increasing, especially if you have the strength, keep up with your um, weights that you decide to do. 
Last thing I'm gonna leave you with, it has nothing to do with working out, but it has everything to do with giving. We're gonna start a can drive to give to a family or an organization that is in need for Thanksgiving. If you guys been a part of Mean Green, you know how we get down. If you're your very first time, we're all about giving. So when you come to the gym, whether you're on the North or Southwest, bring a can good, put it at the gym, because we wanna definitely give back. Hey, can't wait to see you. Take a selfie, see you tomorrow.